Your your turn. All right. What oh, what do you look at on uh, Joe Silva there? Joe Silva. Yeah. Oh, that's mixed, that's right? Like mixed. Like he was pretty good to me. Like I sort of got to tell him when I was ready to fight, and it always happened. There was never a time where he strung me along. Like, hey, I'll be ready in April, and then he didn't give me a yeah. fight till September. You know what I mean? Know, you talked about him being like, "Hey, we're not going to use you because you know with that voice, how you're you've lost too many or something." You know what I mean? So yeah, like, really. Yeah. Wow. But I was looks like I'm the only one with one didn't... on this one. All right, Miguel, I wasn't turn. working with him then, right? So fair enough. Like that was his judgment. But once I got yeah. in and he had to work with me, I guess he treated me fair. Okay. You know? no winning, Chris. I shot myself in the foot. I went four and zero, and then I spent a week in Vegas doing the expo after my. After my fourth fight in New Jersey, I came back and did the expo in Vegas. Yeah. And, um, you know, me and my wife were there and, you know, drinking and eating and doing the thing. And then I saw that uh, this kid lost his opponent at welterweight. And I went, I want in. Just being greedy. I should have just <laughs> left it alone. And I yeah. went lost like a split decision. So, you know, yeah. had, I been, had I won that fight, which I should have, it had been 5-0, and oh, then I'd have been sitting there going, all right, now Joe Silva owes me something. Yeah. And then I could have judged him. Like, that question, I could have said, based on that answer, did he help me as a 5-0 and oh athlete, or did he hold me back? Yeah. But as it went, you know, I'm 4-1, and one, and then I just kept my career going and, you know, finished out doing my thing. And, yeah, I, he treated me fair. But all the other stuff from all the other guys coming out, I can see it very much as true. Because I've seen some emails and I know some people um, that fought, you know, and I know their story. And it's not always, it's not always the nice side. Like you're, there's yeah. no negotiating with them. Oh, yeah. I never, I didn't get to negotiate a, a, a second contract or a third contract and get anything out of them. It was, no, this is what we're doing. Like I came <laughs> in on 6,000 and 6,000, like with 50 fights, 60 oh. fights, 65 fights. I said, come on, you guys are paying Hector Lombard like 120 and 110, you know, yeah. like to win. Like, what do you mean? I went four yeah. rounds with the guy. Like, I've, I've, I've just beat a UFC champion. Yeah, th there's not much negotiation with them. There never like, has been, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, like, come on. So, right, so you, sp you spent time that in was California. A tough one, but yeah, I can't, I can't hold him to account for that. He was doing his job. So, yeah. Right, right, so you spent time in California, which kind of opens.